Have you ever wondered if there's a connection between your eating habits and heart disease? Heart disease stands tall as one of the leading causes of death across the globe. It doesn't discriminate, affecting people from all walks of life. But what if I told you that it's not just the genetic lottery at play here? Our lifestyle choices, especially what we eat and how we eat it, play a crucial role in determining the health of our hearts. Think about it. Our diets have evolved drastically over the past few decades. We're consuming more processed foods, saturated fats and sugars than ever before, and our hearts are bearing the brunt of it. But what if we could turn the tables on heart disease? What if we could combat it, not with fancy medications or complex procedures, but with a simple adjustment to our eating habits? Could the way we eat, specifically when we eat, hold the key to a healthier heart? Stick around to find out. Enter intermittent fasting, a dietary approach that's been gaining traction across the globe. But what exactly is it? Well, intermittent fasting is not a diet in the traditional sense. Instead, it's a pattern of eating. It's a way of scheduling your meals so that you get the most out of them. It doesn't change what you eat, it changes when you eat. Now, there are several different ways to do intermittent fasting, each with its own unique rhythm. One of the most popular methods is the 16 eighths method, also known as the Lean Gains Protocol. This involves skipping breakfast and restricting your daily eating period to eight hours, say from one in the afternoon to nine at night. Then you fast for the remaining 16 hours of the day. Another method is the five, two diet, where for two days of the week, you consume only 500 to 600 calories and eat normally the other five days. Then there's the eat, stop, eat method, which involves a 24 hour fast once or twice a week. These are just a few examples, but they all revolve around the same principle, alternating periods of eating and fasting. It's a simple concept, yet it's powerful enough to potentially bring about significant health benefits. What if this simple change in eating patterns could make our hearts healthier? To understand how intermittent fasting could impact heart health, let's delve into the science behind it. At the core of this eating pattern are biological processes that our bodies undergo during periods of fasting. These processes, namely autophagy, insulin sensitivity, and the metabolic switch to burning fat for energy, play a crucial role in understanding the potential benefits of intermittent fasting for heart health. Let's start with autophagy, a natural regulated mechanism of the cell that disassembles unnecessary or dysfunctional components. Think of it as the body's internal recycling program. During fasting periods, the rate of autophagy ramps up, breaking down and recycling old damaged cellular components. This process is believed to help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress, two key contributors to heart disease. Next, we have insulin sensitivity. Under normal circumstances, our bodies respond to insulin, a hormone that helps regulate our blood sugar levels. However, poor dietary habits can lead to insulin resistance, a condition where the body doesn't respond effectively to insulin, leading to high blood sugar and potentially heart disease. Intermittent fasting has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, helping to regulate blood sugar levels and potentially reducing heart disease risk. Lastly, let's talk about the metabolic switch from burning glucose to burning fat for energy. When we eat, our bodies break down the food into glucose, which is used for energy. Any excess glucose is stored as fat. However, during fasting periods, when glucose is scarce, our bodies switch to burning stored fat for energy. This process, known as ketosis, not only helps with weight management, but also reduces the levels of harmful fats in the blood, potentially lowering the risk of heart disease. The potential benefits of intermittent fasting on heart health are rooted in these biological processes. By understanding the science behind intermittent fasting, we can better appreciate how this eating pattern could potentially play a role in heart health. So, how exactly does intermittent fasting impact heart disease? Well, let's delve into some of the scientific studies that have been conducted to shed light on this fascinating connection. Researchers have been studying the effects of intermittent fasting on cardiovascular health, and the findings are quite intriguing. One of the most consistent findings across multiple studies is the impact on blood pressure. Intermittent fasting has been found to lower blood pressure, with some studies indicating a significant reduction in systolic blood pressure. This is a crucial aspect of heart health, as high blood pressure is a leading risk factor for heart disease. Now let's talk about cholesterol. This waxy substance found in your blood can be a friend or foe, 
While your body needs some cholesterol to function properly, too much of it can clog your arteries and lead to heart disease. Interestingly, studies have found that intermittent fasting can help reduce levels of low-density lipoprotein, often referred to as the bad cholesterol, while increasing high-density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol. This balance is essential for maintaining a healthy heart, but that's not all. Intermittent fasting also appears to have favorable effects on insulin resistance. Insulin is a hormone that allows your body to use sugar from carbohydrates for energy or to store glucose for future use. When the body becomes resistant to insulin, blood sugar levels can rise, leading to an increased risk of heart disease. By improving insulin sensitivity, intermittent fasting may help to reduce this risk. So if we piece together the puzzle, we can see a clear connection between intermittent fasting and improved heart health. Lower blood pressure, reduced cholesterol levels and improved insulin resistance all contribute to a healthier heart and potentially lower the risk of heart disease. But remember, while the evidence is promising, it's important to note that more research is needed to fully understand the nuances of this relationship. As with any diet or lifestyle change, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before making any drastic changes. The connection between intermittent fasting and heart health is compelling, but more research is needed. Before you jump into intermittent fasting, it's essential to consider if it's the right fit for you. Intermittent fasting, like any dietary regimen, isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It can be a beneficial practice for many, but it's not suitable for everyone. Certain individuals should exercise caution or avoid it altogether. Those with medical conditions, especially related to blood sugar regulation, like diabetes, may face risks with intermittent fasting. The fasting periods could potentially lead to dangerously low blood sugar levels. Similarly, those with a history of eating disorders should steer clear. Intermittent fasting might trigger unhealthy behaviors or exacerbate existing conditions. Pregnant women and breastfeeding mothers also need to be cautious. They require consistent nutrition to support their own health and that of their little ones. Intermittent fasting might not provide the necessary nutritional intake during these critical periods. And let's not forget about individuals who are underweight or have high physical activity levels. They may struggle to meet their nutritional needs within the eating windows of an intermittent fasting schedule. It's absolutely vital to consult a healthcare provider before embarking on a new dietary regimen like intermittent fasting. They can help evaluate your personal health situation and guide you towards the most appropriate choices for your well-being. The aim here isn't to discourage anyone from trying intermittent fasting. It's about emphasizing that our bodies are unique and what works for one person might not work for another. As with any lifestyle change, it's crucial to make informed decisions based on your individual health needs. In conclusion, intermittent fasting could potentially offer benefits for heart health, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Let's take a moment to revisit some of the key points we've covered in this video. We began by discussing the heart disease conundrum, shedding light on its prevalence and the urgent need for effective preventive measures. By understanding the problem, we can better appreciate the potential solutions. Next, we unveiled the concept of intermittent fasting, a practice that involves cycling between periods of eating and fasting. This approach to eating can be traced back to our ancestors and has gained popularity in recent years as a method for weight loss and overall health improvement. We then delved into the science behind intermittent fasting, touching on how it affects our bodies on a cellular level and the potential benefits it could bring. We discussed how intermittent fasting can lead to changes in our body, such as improved insulin sensitivity and reduced inflammation, which are key factors in heart disease development. We also explored the connection between intermittent fasting and heart disease, looking at the available research and studies that suggest this eating pattern could potentially reduce heart disease risk. However, it's important to note that while the results are promising, more research is needed to fully understand the relationship and its implications. The conversation then shifted to an important question. Is intermittent fasting for everyone? It's crucial to remember that while intermittent fasting can be beneficial for some, it may not be the best choice for everyone. Individual health considerations, lifestyle and personal preferences all play a significant role. As we wrap up, we must reiterate the need for more research in this area. While intermittent fasting shows potential, it is not a magic bullet for heart disease. It's always essential to consider your personal health situation 
and consult with a healthcare professional before making any drastic changes to your eating habits. Remember, the key to a healthier heart is not just about when you eat, but also what you eat and how you live your life. Stay informed, stay healthy,